Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Tringali with Team Tringali. And Craig Bujo with Pinnacle Mortgage. And Craig and I are really excited to start a brand new series today called The Real Estate Roundtable with Danielle and Craig. We are going to bring you a whole bunch of useful information, um, tips and tricks, mm -hmm. mortgage ideas, how to you know beat the low inventory out there, but just a great series that we want to bring to you every week with great information and news that you can use to find that house or sell that house in 2023. Correct. But first, Craig, tell us a little bit about yourself. So my name is Craig Bujo with Pinnacle Mortgage. We are based out of Manchester, New Hampshire. We are a mortgage broker licensed in all of New England, the Carolinas, Florida, Texas, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. Uh, we are recently voted the best of the 603 in New Hampshire mortgage company. Um, we are brokerage, so we basically have uh, loan options for every single type of buyer out there, including investors. And I'm Danielle Tringali. I'm a seasoned realtor here at Keller Williams Metropolitan. I'm the owner also of Team Tringali. We have a team of 10 people. We're licensed in New Hampshire, Massachusetts, also Maine. And um, we're in the top 1% of agents across the country. So we buy and sell a lot of real estate. Love what we do. Um, yeah. And enjoy it. Yeah. Stay tuned for more uh, videos. So basically we're looking for some feedback too for everybody out there. If you have any questions, concerns, or topics you want us to cover, at the end of this video we're going to have all of our information uh, up on the screen for you. You can just email us or comment in the uh, boxes below. Yeah. We want to hear from you. Our whole goal is to do, you know, market ideas, market updates, what's going on with interest rates, where are they going, what's going on with the real estate market, um, but really answer your questions, you know, each week. Mm -hmm. Keep these short, keep them, you know, timely um, with the best information to help you guys buy or sell a home in 2023. So we want to hear from you. We look forward to talking to you soon. Have a great week. Bye-bye. This is Danielle and Craig. Welcome to the Real Estate Roundtable. So last week we introduced ourselves and this week we are diving into it. So first topic. We're, our first topic, we're getting lots of questions. What's the 2023 real estate market going to look like? And one of the questions that I think that you and I are seeing a lot of is why would I trade a low interest rate for a high interest rate? Correct. What are your thoughts on that? There's a, there's a lot of different reasons for that. People could be upsizing, downsizing buying a vacation home, like there's multiple reasons to why you would do that, and I always say don't marry the rate, you know, sorry, marry, marry the house, not the rate. Yes, exactly. You know, when you're buying and selling, I mean, of course, sometimes people do impulse buys, yeah. but really, like, what are your life needs, you know? Do you need to upsize to a bigger house? Because now, you know, your family's increasing, um, you know, since COVID, maybe your job is permanently remote, you need an office space. Right. So really, you know, go by what your life needs. Don't delay what your, you or your family needs just because of interest rates. Like Correct. we said, marry the house, not the rate. And always refinance later. Exactly. So, you know, right now, what are rates now? Low sixes for, for the conventional mortgage. Low sixes. Yeah, low sixes. And they're heading toward the, you know, the mid to low fives over the next couple of months. There's a lot of talk about recession lately. So yeah. if that does happen, that's going to help the interest rates too. But I would not necessarily wait for that low yeah. because let me tell you, the open houses that I went to this past weekend, mm -hmm. the competition that I'm starting to see, the buyers are coming right. out, the spring market is coming early. So we are seeing, you know, like a, a big activity. increase in activity. So what does that do? Well, that's of course going to affect the price. You know what I mean? So don't wait for a lower interest rate right. while the prices could more. go up with competition. Right. So yeah, I mean, think about too, like if someone's looking to downsize, I know a lot of clients that are looking to get rid of their big house. You know, Danielle, I use two or three rooms a time. I mean, think about, don't worry about a bigger interest rate when you're worrying about higher electrical payments, more fuel costs. Um, All those are groceries. Like yeah, groceries. Is, groceries you know, so maybe, maybe that is a good trade-off like okay I might pay a little higher interest rate but my life and my utilities and everything else is so expensive if I downsize that is a long-term you know savings Correct. and like you said you make the the refinance process so easy Correct. It, it's not a permanent commitment no it's not the but, average life of the loan is only seven years honestly Really? So they're always gonna. It's always reasons to refinance equity, you know, pull up cash for debt, or the lower rates, lower your terms. There's a lot of other opportunities down the road. Yeah. If they like get the house they want now before those mm -hmm. rates start dropping and the activity picks up with drawing receipt, yeah. that's gonna cause them to pay more for the house. And the other thing that I've heard is like you know the idea of us getting back into the twos or three percents. Yeah, we'll see that happen it, it, anytime soon at all, if, if ever. Yeah, it just doesn't seem historically yeah. accurate. And the other thing I've seen that the historical average from 1990 to 19, from 2021, so yes. that's 30 years or so, yep. has been on average 6% interest rate. Which is right where we are 
So that's right where we are right now. So there really is no need or really no reason um, financially, you know, to wait. So. All right. Well, that concludes our very first Gosh, yeah. official. Um, Craig and I want to hear from you guys. What questions do you want us to answer? What topics would you like us to go over? Feel free to reach out to either one of ours. Maybe uh, emails will be at the end of this uh, this video, so you can email us or drop a comment below. Yeah, we're here to educate you. We're here to help you tackle the twenty twenty three real estate market, and you know, educate you to the best of our ability. Have a great day. Bye.